Welcome back. Um, so in the last video, what we did was we we um, we completed our password validator. So in this video, what we're going to do is, is we are actually going to work on generating uh, on having the system generate the password for us. Okay. Um, so let's see what we have. We have uh, we pretty much have the UI uh, constructed. Um, I constructed that for you. Um, so only thing left to do is is really two functions that we have to create. Okay, we have to create a function that would um, a function that would register the state when I change. Um, that would register the condition changes and then we also have to um, uh, create a second function that would generate um, the password for us and that function is going to be triggered every time we, we uh, change the password length so each time we we um, slide we activate the on change on the slider uh, it's going to generate a new password as we slide left or right okay so <clears throat> first um, first one let's let's call that generate generate password generate password and second one is handle condition condition change okay and a uh, couple things that um, need to to go along with you guys um, so for each of the check boxes is a condition so um, has uppercase um, I have a conditions for that lowercase a condition has numbers um, uh, has special characters password length um, also, I have created for upper cases. I have a, an array representing um, is an array of uppercase uh, letters, as well as an array of up, uh, lowercase letters, and also an array of numbers, um, single digits from zero to nine. Um, and also uh, an array of special characters. Now, um, granted, I did not include all special characters. I just kept it short, okay? Um, but our, our um, functions are going to, our functions are going to, um, let's work on our functions, okay? So for the handle conditions, um, we're going to for the handle conditions what we're gonna we're going we're going to attach those to our to our checkboxes okay so our checkboxes they already have a name okay um, the name is associated with with these um, so let's just pass the, the conditions so condition 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 so we're gonna say on change we're gonna say handle condition handle condition change okay and that's pretty much it for our checkboxes let me see why am I getting an error here okay it's gone all right so okay so for our checkboxes that is done um, so now let's uh, let's let's do something about what happens with the conditions so we're gonna do it's we're gonna use a switch um, okay and we're gonna pass it e dot target um, we're gonna do case has uppercase if it's uh, if it was triggered by the uppercase this one has uppercase then we're gonna set has uppercase to the value of the checked um, okay and then we're gonna break and 
pretty much going to do the same thing for lowercase. All right, we're going to break also. Uh, same thing for has numbers. Going to break. And special characters. Going to break. And of course, we got to return the default. The default is just going to break. It's not going to do much of anything. All right. Um, so that is the end of our um, handle condition change that corresponds to our checkboxes. So now you'll notice that once I click, it's it's registered. Okay. Um, so we are now going to work on our uh, generate passwords. So for the generate password, what we're going to do is well, let's uh, let's create a, a variable for the value. Okay, so we're going to pretty much uh, extract the value from e target it's from the event target, um, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to let me see. Since the first thing we're doing, right, is when we are setting the, when, as we're moving the slides, we, as you notice here, it says password length. So the very first function that is going to be triggered is we're going to be setting the, the password length. So what we're going to do is we're going to say set password length. And we're going to pass that to value. Okay. Um, so now we're able to. Hold on. Um, oh, I see why it's not working. I didn't. Um, I didn't do the unchange to set it to generate password. So now um, should be working. All right. So now I can interact with the slider. Okay. So I have it um, from zero from one to twenty. Um, that's the max character length, minimum of one. Okay. So having done that, we can now move our slider, okay? And so for now, what we're going to do is we're going to, out of um, these four arrays, the uppercase, the lowercase, the numbers, and the special characters, we're going to create a pool from which we can work with. So let's, let's keep it simple. We're going to call that pool, okay? We're going to set it to an empty array. And now we're going to say if has uppercase no not this okay if has uppercase we're going to say the pool is equal to we're going to um we're going to use our spread here okay, whatever the pool is and then we're going to spread out the uppercase um, array as well. So we are returning pool as a new array. Okay. And um, let's do the same thing for lowercase numbers and special characters. So we're going to do lowercase. We're going to do numbers and we're going to do special characters as well. Okay. So now that we have our pool, there are, there are two ways we can go about this. Okay. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you the first way and then I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you the first way and then the second way is I'm going to um, simplify it. It's actually, yeah, it's, it's a simplify, it's a simpler way, but also more complicated. Okay. So it's simplified in, in, in the sense that we won't be writing as much lines to get this done, but it's complicated as it's, um, well, a more complex level okay so simple way first um, we're gonna create a new variable let's call this um, temp password okay 
our temp password is let's say it's an array okay we're gonna call it an array and for our array um, we're gonna pass it a, a length okay and that length is going to be value okay because we're we're saying um, we're saying that our let's see we are saying that our length our password length is going to be the total number of characters so we have to set that uh, new password first we're going to create the new password we're going to set it as an array and then we're going to join it okay so <clears throat> the length of it is going to be the um, whatever length we choose on our slider all right so having done that we're going to do a for loop we're going to say for let i is equal to zero i is less than value or we can say you know what let's say temp password that length and um we're gonna say i plus plus once we do that we're gonna, just gonna say new password actually no uh should be temp password We're going to pass it we're going to um we're going to um set the index of i to uh what we're going to do is we're going to pull a, a a random element out of our pool okay so we're going to say pool math that floor and as a function we're going to do math dot random of course we also have to pass it a length okay so having having done that we are now going to pass um the temp password um we're gonna do set password, okay, um, function, and we're gonna pass it temp password. And as you notice, temp password is not an array. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the join function of array. And so let's see, let's see what that ends up being. I have them wrong here. So it should be has lowercase has numbers has special characters okay now let's try that again you'll notice that I don't have any special characters um, I do have numbers here so let's remove numbers so now you see that I don't have any numbers. Let's remove lowercase. I'm now left with only uppercase. So let's remove uppercase and put lowercase. So you see as I'm making changes, um, my system is generating as, as required, okay? So all of this is the simplified version, okay? now let's comment all that out let's get us let's get all that done but using a little bit of a more sophisticated um javascript okay so we're gonna start right out with set password we're gonna call the array all right we're gonna pass it the value but we're gonna do fill okay zero that's the index and we're gonna be using uh, the map function okay so and 
this is ours so once we do array we'll pass it the value and then the dot fill pass it a, a value of zero and then we 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 append the uh, array dot map function to it um, and then we just tell it to do something uh, with the element and then at the end of all of that we just join it together all right so let's see what happens let's reload our page and it's working the same way um, that it was before okay so as we're making changes it's as we're making changes um, the system is generating for us a password that meets the, co the conditions that we've set forth all right so this is it i promised you a very short two video series so um tell me what you think if you liked it or you didn't like about it also if you have any suggestions i'm open to uh, as to what you would like to see next um, don't forget to like comment and share subscribe as well hit the bell thank you and have a blessed day